So hello everybody, my name is Edward. I'm from S16 Research Ventures. We are a Web3 fund and validator based in Indonesia. And today we are excited to present Pouch, our submission to the AAZ Quadratic Grant. Um, and Pouch is the place to manage and protect your interchain assets. Just before I start, maybe I can give a little background about the project. The original motivation of the project is inheritance. Uh, uh, you know, for me, if anything ever, anything ever bad happens, um, you know, I'd like my family, and my loved ones to be able to access my digital assets. And we believe this is a value proposition that crypto users all around the world can uh, resonate with. So within that context, we define the problem um, as uh, the ability to inherit digital assets between family members or team members is vital and essential for crypto adoption. Uh, sharing seed phrases does not result this in any meaningful way. Um, so the solution that we have uh, built is Pouch, which is an on-chain fund recovery protocol built on the Cosmos SDK as a complementary security wrapper for existing wallets. And it's implemented as an IBC enabled app chain. So how it works is a user appoints guardians on the Pouch app chain, and these guardians can initiate a fund recovery process for user accounts on other chains. Security is elevated through the following features. There's a mandatory waiting time before recovery begins. The recovery happens through daily transfers over a period of time, and funds can only be transferred to whitelisted accounts. So if there's any unwanted fund recovery initiation, a user has an opportunity to cancel it. There's also an opportunity here for Pouch um, since it has the extensibility as an account management platform through its conditional transfers. Uh, in summary, Pouch is an IBC-enabled app chain that orchestrates and manages digital assets on other chains. The core value propositions would be that assets are managed from one app chain. The conditional transfer logics reside in one location. Assets stay on their native chain. There's no need to move assets into a Pouch-enabled account, for example. And assets are orchestrated using IBC. <clears throat> So let's get into the product demo. Just before I get into the product demo though, um, the demo is a little bit more on the technical side. So those who are familiar with the Cosmos SDK uh, tech stack and modules um, will have an easier time following the demo. Uh, so we apologize in advance. Uh, we are working on the next demo or the next app, the next app version of the application and we'll abstract away a lot of the complexities. But I think for today's presentation, it should be appropriate. So we'll go ahead here. Mm. We've prepared two accounts here. The first account holds the funds. And as you can see, there's two atoms. The second account will be receiving the funds and currently there are no atoms. So the funds will be received in multiple transfers over a period uh, of time. So we'll go to the current application. Uh, this is a, our um, project. Uh, you click on this link here in the demo. Um, the app will open. Okay, cool. So let's just start with getting some tokens in the pouch address. Should appear here at any moment now. Great, okay, so we have one pouch token in the address. So we'll go ahead and create a group and we'll call it the Fun Recovery Guardians. And we will add ourselves into this group. I've also prepared two guardian accounts. Um, so we'll add those in. Okay, so we have the three members here and they each have a voting weight of one. We'll go ahead and proceed. The group voting policy here will set as a we'll set a one minute voting window as well as the requirement to have 51% of total voting power to proceed and push any proposals forward. Okay, we will sign that. Okay, so the group has been created. Uh, here you can see it's the Fund Recovery Guardians. And if we click on guard group details, uh, we'll see that the group voting policy as well as the members have been registered. The next step is to connect this to the, to the Cosmos Hub testnet, in which case we will register an interchain account. We will also put in the address that we'll be receiving the funds 
whitelisted so that we can send the funds over. We'll also do some best practice and put in transfer limits. So in this case, it will be 10 atoms and 10 atoms for the daily limit as well. Um, okay, we'll add both in and proceed. Okay, everything looks like it's in order. We'll submit it and sign. Great, okay, so the proposal is ready and uh, there is a one minute um, voting window here. So I'll go ahead and hurry and vote. Okay, switch to the Guardian One account. Vote yes as well. Transaction has been broadcasted. We'll switch to this Guardian 2 account and we'll also vote yes. Okay, the transactions, the votes have been complete. I mean, we can review the, the proposal real quick. So we're gonna be register, registering an interchain account. And these are the validation logics that will be done at the same time. This proposal should be ready for execution. The votes are in, we have three yes votes. So I'm just gonna go back to the main wallet. Okay, and we can go ahead and execute this. Second, okay, the transaction has been completed. Um, so if we look, the proposal is no longer here. And if we check out the group details, we might have to give it a few seconds, but the interchain account should appear here. Let me refresh it. Okay, great. So the interchain account is registered and we also have the ICA policy set up. So we have the whitelist address, the transfer limits and the daily limits. There's one extra step, which is we have to grant the off -C. We haven't created the UI UX for this, so we're gonna use the Restake app for it, um, but it works great. So we'll create a new grant here and we'll give the new interchain account off -C grant to send funds. I'll go ahead and sign this. Give it a moment to, to load up. <clears throat> All right, we can close this app um, and that's set up. So the final step is to initiate the fund recovery process. In the technical terms, it would be a recurring transfer in this case. And so we're going to set up the, we're gonna set up, this is the interchain account. This is the account that has the funds where there are currently around two atoms. So we will send half an atom. Yep, half an atom. Sorry, I feel like I'm going blind. Okay, half an atom. We'll be sending it to this whitelisted address and it will be sent every day starting, um, starting today at 9 p.m., 9.16 p.m., let's do that, okay. And it will happen for four days, um, February 4th, 9, 11, 16 p.m. Okay, to give some buffer time for blockchain time. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and submit this, excuse me, and we will sign it. Okay. Again, there's a one minute voting window, so let's just hurry and vote. Okay, going to Guardian One account. I'm gonna vote yes as well. And finally, the Guardian Two account. Once it's broadcasted, there we go. 
Oh, yes. Okay, so we have all the votes and it is almost ready for submission. Just to review, uh, we will be making a transaction on Pouch. We will be sending funds from, from this account to this account. The transfers will be half an atom happening for four days within this time period. So, okay, we're ready to submit this. Um, let me go back to the main wallet. Okay, now we will sign this account, sign this proposal. All right, and it's through. So if we look at the group details, we should have the, the, the fund recovery process scheduled down here, which you can see. It will happen in the next minute and it is scheduled. So, I mean, for the next minute, I think I'll uh, switch over to the presentation to kind of summarize what we did. So what we did was we utilized interchain accounts, interchain queries, IBC callbacks, and off -Z to transmit transactions through a designated account on Pouch. This acts as a proxy for the user's primary account on other chains. We built four custom modules for this. We have the ICA policy module, which establishes validation logic for whitelists and transfer limits, among others. We have the ICATX module, which checks the transactions against the corresponding validation logic. And we have the ICA transfer module, which orchestrates the transfers according to the parameters, such as schedules and limits. Finally, we have an interchain query module and this query information from the host chains and send it back to Pouch. So we've built all these features. We have recurring transfers, we have transfer limits, we have daily limits whitelisted address, scheduled transfers, and you put this all together. And we have a more secure enhanced fund recovery process um, that utilizes appointed guardians. So we're gonna build, we're gonna be building more things such as subscription modules um, and looking to abstract a lot of these technicalities away. So it just becomes a lot more user-friendly. So I think the transaction should be done by now. Let me just refresh. Okay, it should be through. Let's take a look at this uh, wallet here. Half an atom should be in, and there we go. Half an atom is in. And so over the next four days, there will be half an atom being transferred every day until it's, com it's completed to two atoms. That's originally scheduled to be sent. Um, back to the presentation. So just to reiterate our vision, it is to be the asset management hub for the interchain assets. Mm, we believe we've taken the first step forward in this journey, there's still a lot to build. Um, this is what we have to share today. We're really excited to be here and share this with everyone. And if anyone wants to reach out to us to kind of uh, talk, ask questions, collaborate, whatever it may be, uh, you know, do feel free to reach out to us. We'd be happy to have that conversation. And please, please do support us. We'll need it. And um, that's what we have today. Thank you very much.